Good day, Traders Mindset Reset. It's uh, Thursday, day two on the backside of the week. Now today I'm going to talk about uh, opportunities that we've had this week. I'm going to talk about Friday because tomorrow is free cash Friday. And I'm going to talk about behavior of the trader. And so today, day two on the backside of the week, we had uh, several opportunities on markets. We had uh, templates this week for first red day, first green days that were three day opportunities driven by other time frame traders for the US session. We had opportunities for first red day in the Asian session. Uh, we had it on pound yen cross, euro yen cross, yen, yen, uh, silver, uh, just in terms of some of the best candidates. We had three session setups in the Canadian dollar hive week reversal and market that broke broke out closed in breakout we had a down closing day on oil that closed as a red day into day one day two breakouts so the break of that low of day level confirmed that that was the first red day now depending on how that closes we can still have a market that could be setting up for free cash Friday or maybe even into Monday depending on how that market trades out today so one of the things that uh, I want to talk about is emphasizing the understanding of one or two parabolic opportunities on a three-day setup is all traders need to significantly compound their account when they are ACB opportunities ain't coming backs so still traders uh, getting chopped up chasing movement tr trying to trade highs and lows but there's actually no setup there and I'm gonna say this really clearly put your best screenshots up on the wall of best trade candidates we had three days of breakout traders we had that on oil yesterday we had it on New Mexican peso today uh, traders that are getting caught up are doing the damage to themselves the behavior of the trader is this if you can't sit on your hands because you don't understand an actual setup, that means you're gonna to start to try and trade movement. I put the indexes up there today to demonstrate that they are being driven by other time frame traders. And we still, you know, we got traders trying to catch moves off the lows, off the highs. We had a first red day signal on the NASDAQ that pumped right up into the open, gave a death candle at the New York open. We had 10 a.m. major red news. It pumps back up, that's one thrust down. It gives a 10 a.m second thrust down pumps back up into the coil our universal ema coil five minute chart for the completion of that move back through the low of the day now we have a day two we have a day two we had a first red day yesterday we have a day two we still may have a first red day opportunity tomorrow on free cash friday so my question for for traders always is what setup are you trading what setup are you trading is it three days of breakout traders in the market? Do we have an inside day for a false break or a trend trade opportunity? Do we have a first red day or first green day signal? Those are driven by other time frame traders. The mindset, my mindset is this. I've done enough stupid things over many years that I can look at a chart and go, I'm not going to touch that. Now, the reason I mentioned uh, to some traders, I've added other instruments into my basket and one trader got offended by that saying that just complicates things. How does that complicate things if you're looking for a setup? I don't give a shit if I got 40 instruments, I'm only looking for one setup, one kick 10,000 times. I talk about this repeatedly. I look for one or two opportunities in Asia over the course of the week. And with a doubt, without a doubt, inevitably, there's always at least one great one. Today we were, you know, we had three or four. Now I didn't trade those this week because I was at a birthday party last night. Several traders took advantage of the yen parabolic first red day collapses. Rinse and repeat, scale them up in size. That trade alone for some traders is all they all they needed for the whole week oil yesterday some traders loaded the boat on that that was the only trade they needed maybe for the whole week but there are still traders going out there every day trying to catch moves and grab pips and and they're getting chopped up behavior of the trader what setup have you mastered what simple rinse and repeat setup have you mastered 
Now let me let me explain something. You have if you're struggling, you have to get so repulsed by yourself and your behavior and the repetitive bad mistakes done daily in and day in and day out, you have to get so fed up with yourself that you have to reinvent yourself. Nish talks about this all the time. Affirmations, meditation, breathing, self-talk. You have to master yourself first. The setups are the same every single week. Every single week, I look for the same things over and over and over again, which brings me to my next point today, Friday. Now, last week, we had several traders do damage to themselves on Friday. And I talked about this. Tomorrow is Friday, so we'll talk about it today. The one thing that you do not want to do is damage yourself heading into the weekend. We have the last trading day of the month, the last trading day of the month. What that can mean is that we may have some significant opportunities, the closing range of the week for parabolic opportunities. There are two types of opportunities that I will look for tomorrow, either a parabolic trend trade or a parabolic reversal trade. I'm going to look for one instrument that offers me a best trade candidate. I'm not interested in looking at something to see if I can trade at a 50-50 opportunity. I'm only looking for where I have an opportunity where it says I can't lose on it, a 99 to one. And if you don't know what that is, spend a few hours today printing off what those look like, whether it's a three session setup or a three day setup. And if you're not sure, don't trade. Because if you do damage to yourself on Friday, you spend the whole weekend, you go back and study, you review, you make new rules to, to eliminate some of the mistakes you made and, and you're, you know, you're, you're frustrated, you're angry and you want to get back to work on Monday and make a trade. Now, this week is a great example of where we had day one breakouts, day two signal day, day three parabolic reversal, first red day, simple trades. Again, those trades for several traders were all, all they needed to do all week to significantly compound their account, their ACB setups. When they ain't coming back and you scale into those opportunities and you hold them till the close or till near the close and lock in that money, and don't keep looking for trades, scalping in and out, scalping in and out, trying to catch a move, catch a move, catch a move. That is not scalable. What scalable setups have you mastered? I say the same things over and over again because it's the same thing every week. I'm not doing anything different. Rinse and repeat, scale it up in size. If I can't find a best trade candidate on the day, do I try to catch a move so that I can get a trade? Only if I want to try to get into something that Maybe potentially is now I'm late to the train. Now, now the train might reverse a little bit and do some damage to me. That's, that's not the setup. So if I've missed the setup, do I care? No, because there are going to be more setups. There'll be a setup tomorrow. I got a basket of 20 instruments. Do, do you think that tomorrow there's going to be at least one instrument, whether it's a currency, whether it's a metal, whether it's one of the oils or gas or an index? where there'll be one opportunity, whether it's later in the session, whether it's, you know, at one o'clock tomorrow, if I, if I recognize something where maybe it's going to be a later opportunity. Okay, so it's not in the timing window. Does that mean that there still may not be an opportunity for a best trade candidate on Free Cash Friday? Those are all the things that you have to decide. What's your business plan? What is your trading business built on? Now, think about this. Do you really think you're going to have a sustainable, growing trading business by catch, trying to catch the move or catch the low or catch the high all the time? That's why I keep saying FAFO is not a good long-term strategy and it is not scalable. I caught a move today. I'm happy with that move that I caught. Is that really like, think how simple things could be like Steven. I talk about Steven all the time because Steven knows exactly what he's looking for and he doesn't touch a market unless it's broken out. That doesn't mean he goes chasing every market that breaks out. Which one offers him the best candidate for a rinse and repeat reversal or trend trade opportunity? NASDAQ broke out. It's a first red day signal. It's broken out. 
he's aligned himself with other time frame traders, one and done, walk away. The mentality of the trader is there's two types. There's traders who know exactly what they're doing and they're bringing, they're bringing a bazooka to a knife fight. And there's other traders there who are, you know, they want to street brawl with everybody. And, and you know, at some point you're going to, you know, that doesn't always end well. The reason why I'm talking about this today on Thursday is because I, I, I want traders that are struggling. You know, some people got caught into some chop today. It's day two. I've, I'll say this again. Some of the traders, if you're struggling, focus on day three, Wednesday and Friday. Now, if you can find a day three, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like the Swiss franc and you're trading London or you're trading Asia, day one, day two, day three, first red day, parabolic collapse that started in Asia and blew off into the Europe Open. Um, that happens every week. It might be on the Euro Oz next week. It might even, you know, I'll look at those pairs tonight. We might get a first red day session in Asia for whatever, 50 pips or something like that. I don't know. Free cash Friday. It's day three. So day three is the closing range of the week. And if we get a three session setup, my, my perception of looking for those candidates are the ones that are ACBs. They're not coming back. They're closing out the week on the third session and the last day of the trading month. So uh, congratulations to other traders. Uh, they, they've gone back. They've said to me, I've gone back and, you know, a year ago I didn't get it. And it was, you know, this and that. And I've gone back through the playbook and I realized, here's the thing. Take your hands and sit on them and you'll realize that you need to let things set up into a template. And, and for people who are constantly chasing stuff, I can't help that. You have to master yourself, behavior of the trader. Now, the last thing that I want to do heading into a weekend is do damage. So the longer you trade and the more you master yourself and you master simple, easy money-making setups, you won't have five charts open all the time or four charts open with levels and everything marked off. You'll have one or two and then you'll shut one and go, there it is. I'm trading this today. That's my trade. That's it. Because you had a signal day, you had a setup, you had an opportunity. Shut everything else off. Get out of your chat rooms. Shut your social media off. You know, get off your phone, whatever you're doing, and get focused. Get focused. Master your setup. Master the lifetime execution of that. Master managing your risk. Master taking profits. Master walking away. Like Stephen says, one and done. Now, I've had a busy week. I'm going to put together a video today going over, again, some of the best candidates, but also just simple model, the basic model for trade entry criteria. So, for example, NASDAQ today. Even if you got in prior to major red, red news, right? 9.30 New York Open, death candle, they pump it back up. Second hour, or sorry, third hour opens at major red news, that technically means that the market opens at 10.05. Five minute chart, if you're not consistent, you shouldn't be using a one minute chart. I've told several traders this, get off the one minute chart. You don't need the one minute chart. If you really know what you're doing, you don't really need it. But five minute entry, basic model for trade entry criteria, got traders an easy uh, first red day trade on Thursday, day two on the backside that went down to the low of the day, the low of the week from last Thursday's outside day, large outside day. My point is this, it is simple. It is very simple if you sit on your hands and learn to sit back and wait for one or two. Like when I trade Asia because I'm guaranteed in most cases, there's one or two great trades a week there. There's no major red news on the calendar. Typically in those sessions, we had Aussie dollar news early in the front part of the week. A best trade candidate in Asia, maybe a best trade candidate on gold, gold or one of the metals. Uh, maybe one of the oils is going to give me at least one great trade in the week. And the indexes, there's four best trade candidates minimum. And if two of them are on the same day in the same session, so I get three. Um, but I'm probably going to get at least two. And two is enough to significantly compound your account. Significantly compound your account. And they are scalable in size. I'm not interested in catching moves just to get a trade. I have zero interest in that. I have zero interest in, in trying to, you know, grab some pips. That doesn't interest me anymore because I know, I know from experience for myself, 
Number one, that's me trying to trade a market. Number two, that is not a setup for me, for me. And the likelihood of me scaling that, repeating that is less likely to happen over time. So other time frame traders are driving the signal day setups. The larger time frame traders are driving the signal setups, signal day setups. So Friday, coming into Friday, I'm emphasizing all of this today because traders sit back, wait for a best trade candidate, whether you're trading Asia, London, or New York. Don't do any damage. Number one rule, do not do any damage. Don't engage in impulsive, irrational behavior. Protect this. If you protect this, master this, and you've mastered your setups, you won't have to worry about damaging your account. And that's the last thing that you want to do on Friday. Now, I said this to Stephen today. I guarantee you, today, we're day two. We know tomorrow's free cash Friday. There'll be traders that get chopped up today and do damage. And I repeated this a thousand times. If you're struggling for consistency, focus on day three. Stop trying to trade every day and master some setups that show up every single week. Three days of breakout traders in the market. Inside day opportunities. First red day, first green day. Stop trying to catch moves. Master setups that will grow your account. Master yourself. Sit back. Make trading simple. Paul Tudor Jones said this. Make trading a pursuit of pleasure, but make it a profitable one. So important, so important. And uh, for traders who have asked, you know, uh, how can I make it simpler? I don't understand. Go back through the play. Everything you need is in that playlist. I've also added uh, some of the other videos, reorganized them into um, improving performance. Just all the videos are about the same things, in performance improvements. But ultimately, the number one thing is just sit back on your hands and wait. It gets so simple after a while. When you sit back and just really wait and observe, it gets easier and easier and easier. And then, then the next step is, okay, just patiently scaling things up in size. Rinse and repeat. Two or three trades a week that, that are driven by other time frame traders that are 90-10 opportunities. Even if the you know market gives you 75 pips on a trade that's parabolic or 50 or even 25. Canadian dollar is a great example today. It 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 traded off of last Thursday's closing price before breaking down, consolidating. It closed in breakout. It's Thursday. We're on the back side of the week. Tuesday was the low of the week. That's a day one, day two. Day three reversal trade, a three-day setup for easy ACB free cash. Ain't coming back. Um, there you go. One trade. One trade. Simple, 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 simple. Keep it simple. If you don't know what simple is yet, spend the afternoon printing off screenshots. Build your muscle memory. Steven talks about this every single day. I can't do it for you. I can't do it for you. For traders that are getting consistency now, make sure you peel the onion back on simplification. Not more. Simplification. Peel it back. Stepping back, scaling up. Stepping back, scaling up. My opinion, that's how I feel. Uh, doing more can lead you into impulsive, irrational, erratic, self-destructive behavior. And if you step back and keep things simple and really master yourself, there's nothing that the market, there's nothing that other people can do to you. Uh, you know, the, the market doesn't do anything to you. Once you click the mouse, you've entered into their domain. You've entered into their domain. So if you're angry or you're frustrated or you're pissed off or you're inconsistent, and, and you know, again, the, the, great op, the great opportunity within that is that you can change that. You can completely reverse that situation. Only you can do that, though. So tomorrow is Free Cash Friday. Now let's say you can't find a parabolic opportunity on Free Cash Friday. Fantastic. Don't trade. That's the first that if you if you go a day without taking a trade because you don't find a best trade candidate, congratulations. Because now you've just gone to another level of self-discipline where you didn't go there to take trades. I didn't see the setup, so I didn't have a best trade candidate. Best trade candidates are what the business is built on. 
That's the setups that I build my trading business on. If I don't see those setups that I build my trading business on, I don't take trades. Scalping pips and everything else aren't going to grow my trading business long term with size, real size. Where can I trade real size in the market? If it's a three session setup and it's a, uh, uh, a session trade, size is relative to your account. Don't over leverage on a size on a, on a trade that if it pops back a, a bit against you, it's going to margin you out, right? You got to use your head. If there's an all in, all opportunity to close that's driven by other time frame traders and it's coiled to explode parabolically and it's a five star all in opportunity, I'm going to go in all in, all in. Um, but I know exactly what setups I'm looking for. First red days, especially in Asia. Every week I look for that. That's my favorite trade setup. It's easy money. There's no news in the calendar. Uh, you know, silver, fantastic. Uh, day one closed in breakout. Monday's Monday's closing price was the neckline, trapping volume all up high. Day one, day two, day three. Thursday morning, straight down into Tuesday's low of day level. There are opportunities everywhere. Uh, and when you see it, right, that's all I start, that's all I look for. First red day, first red day, first red day. And if I get a parabolic first green day long on free cash Friday, I'm looking for that too. Gold loves short squeezes on Thursday. I love saying I love saying that because it's almost like three out of four weeks in a you know, it's always Thursday short squeeze short squeeze Thursday on gold. So don't do damage tomorrow. Be patient. Let the opportunity set up. If you don't see one that fits your criteria, don't trade. Don't do damage. Head into the week. Uh, later today in the video, we'll, we'll review some of the best trade template candidates. Um, there were opportunities in every session today. Congratulations, traders. Keep it simple. Get out and enjoy your day. Had a great workout. It's going to be the same thing next week. Tomorrow's the last trading day of the month. Preserve your mental and financial capital if you have a best trade candidate. Execute it flawlessly. Lock in the money and get on with your day. Have a great day, traders. I mean, the markets go with you.